welcome to my channel. I am an avid model horse customizer but also collector and in this video I'm going to be giving you an updated 2023 collection tour. So I'll put a disclaimer that this is a good 15 years of collecting and a lot of my customizing journey has funded this hobby for me. I understand I have a lot of horses but I've worked very hard for all of them and they all hold a very special place in my heart. And with that, I only collect horses that I like. So you'll see a lot of congas here, but congaing isn't my desire at all. I also predominantly only collect matte finish horses and in realism, but I do have a handful of glossy models and I've been acknowledging glossy a little bit more. I also have a few models scattered around the house, so let's get started. Starting over here, I have two Bobby Joes, Out of the Blue, a Collector's Club online exclusive, Paint Me a Pepto, three classic reigning horses. So these aren't traditional scale. I really like this mold since buying Drifter. Reigning Horse Association Horse Slider, who was a web special. I really am a sucker for buckskin, so I took the gloss on this one. I think it really accentuates the model. And Hollywood done it. A few foals here. Premier Club foal when it was uh, released on this sculpture. Briarfest special run set. Chico. Briarfest special run foal from the Julep and Pim set. And I really like him. Smoke from the JCPenney Smoke and Mirrors set. And the original S Just a Dream. Quad Conga of Misty. Phantom and Misty gift set. Sorry, the original Misty and Stormy, but like the updated 2000s version. Mare from the Pony family set that was released in the 2000s as well. I think they did a superb job of her coloration. And then my favorite Briar mold ever is the Nakota mold. And you can tell because I have a very large conga of him. This is the longest Briar Conga that I have. Canarita Cheveo, who was a collector's choice. Probably my favorite childhood Briar. I find this mold very dynamic and very fun. I have got a lot of memories with this guy, even though he's not perfect. Isidore Cruz, Toro, the Briar Fest special run Pop the Cork in Palomino Pinto in Chestnut Overo. This one is really rare and hard to find. Briar Fest special run Sundance, Nakota Horse, which was the original release for this mold. And I feel like this is probably my all time favorite Briar ever. I just love the dynamicness of the sculpt, and this is quite possibly one of. Briar's best paint jobs. The Briar Fest Pop the Cork special run in the Bay variation. I've got a small conga that matches my Misty conga in the Stormy Full Phantom and Misty gift set. This is an older Stormy. I don't exactly know his history, but he's very orange. He came in a body lot and I didn't have the heart to customize him just because he looks like a Cheeto. Waiting for Santa gift set horse who's very hard to find as well but I love this mold I find it so sweet the original stormy from the gift set I also have a strong draw to the Roxy molds I really like the mold she's got a very soft gentle face so I've got quite a few on this mold as well Briarfest celebration horse the original release of the mold who is Stacy Westfall's Roxy and I really liked Stacy Westfall at the time, so it was very exciting to have this horse. Bet Your Blue Boons, Briarfest Special Run, CC Shuffle Surprise Horse. And this particular one is the Blue Roan Overo variation, who is very rare, hard to find. She's got a really cool face. Cody, Constellation, uh, another CC Shuffle Surprise Horse, but in Grula. And this is Don't Look Twice. Briarfest Celebration Horse, Nicholas. Large Secession and Leaf Fire Conga. This is a mold that I really, really adore. This set is a very rare, hard to find set as well. It was a web special from the Great America series, Dion and Moab. I then have the original Secession and Leaf Fire. This wasn't the original, original set. This was the reboot edition that the Briar launched online. This is probably my like favorite set of this conga. It's the JCPenney buckskin 
Marinful, and it also came with a Huckleberry Bay Stallion. Briarfest Special Run Naomi and Wyona. A Web Special Unicorn Marinful. I didn't buy these guys for the collection. I actually bought them as bodies but I'm just keeping them here until I decide to customize them. My very first Secession Leaf Fire set, which is the Color Crazy Treasure Hunt that was my fourth briar ever. So that's kind of my era. And these guys were definitely played with and were part of my carpet herd, so they're not in mint condition, but I love the set. I have a handful of Weather Girls. This is the original Sunny Weather Girl Treasure Hunt. Briarfest Jasmine. Partly Cloudy from the Treasure Hunt, and Thunderstorm from the Treasure Hunt. I've got a few foals here on the Warm Blood Mold. Child Star from the Briarfest Special Run set. Heartbreaker from GG Valentine and Heartbreaker set. Zenyatta's Foal, Warm Blood Foal set that they released a little while back. I do not remember their names. <laughs> a Premier Club Mare and Foal set. Astrid from the Premier Club. These guys I'm not super keen on. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. The Fell Pony. I can't remember the name. This was a Briarfest Special Run Mare and Foal set. The new set. I can't remember the name either. Web Special Christmas Horse. The original Premier Club Rian and Cadal set. Small Conga of Bouncers. Gingerbread, which was a Web Special. Applejack. JC Penny. Special Run in buckskin and this one I believe came with a Cleveland Bay as a set. I named this horse Twizzler <laughs> and I feel like that suits his, him so well but it's Brickside's uh, Pink Magnum and the original Bouncer. I just love how cheeky the mold is. A Icelandic Pony here and Justin Morgan. Going up to the next shelf I have a small newsworthy conga. I don't remember this one's name. I want to say Baloo Panamera, who has really terrible tassels. The original newsworthy. The name slips me as well. I don't remember. Indian Pony conga as well. A Briarfest Special Run Stunt Double. Savannah Dial. This is an older one with kind of that splatter painting. I just thought she was really unique. Saddle Club Bell. The 70th Anniversary Appaloosa. I cannot pronounce the name of this one, so I will write it on the screen, but this is probably my favorite Indian Pony. She's just really well executed for the time. I also really enjoy Shasta Moon here. She's very pretty. Three strapless models. Original strapless. JAH Special Run Party Girl. Fueling my inner buckskin cravings. One of the most beautiful buckskins Briar has done for sure. The Briarfest special run. Apona, the legendary Briar Bristol who needs a different spot somewhere to, to better display him. He is a lovely. I love him so much. Two horses on the Esprit mold. I find him very whimsical. The Briarfest Samba Surprise in black and white and then my favorite same model in the Dunn Tobiano. I also really enjoy the Kennebec Count mold. Another mold that is kind of overseen. He's fun. I really really like him. Pottery Barn special run that's actually quite rare. This is the JC Penny special run not the regular run that they later released in a similar colorway. Chili and the original Kennebec Count. Croy Dampsha Conga or Dancing Heart. And this is the original Premier horse that was released on the mold. And when I saw the promo photos for this horse, I had to have it. I was like, that's the most beautiful sculpture, most beautiful buckskin I've ever seen. When the factory models started arriving, it, it fell flat. So I didn't originally want this model, but this one came up for sale at a really reasonable price. And she actually has really decent shading in my opinion. So I do have her. And then I have Bramble, who was a web special, very sought after. Unicorn, who I don't collect fantasy things, but this is just too fun to not have. Beachcomber, Starlet, a web special, Banks Vanilla, Briarfest, Special Run Chanel, and the Sable Island Pony. 
Another really special mold to me is the Andalusian mold. I find that sculptures by Kathleen Moody have a lot of personality. Galahad, a Briarfest special run. Caliente, who's a Briar tour model. JC Penny, a special run. And this is perhaps one of the best grays Briar has ever done. Nobel II, celebration horse. Look at the shading. And he has like a metallicness to his coat, so he glistens in the light. Hero's Surprise. This is Krypton Senai 2 and the original Black Andalusian who is equally as gorgeous as Nobel 2. Two on the Akalteke, Akaltique mold, however you pronounce it. The original Premier Club Altenai, who I repainted the eyes from blue to brown. Atomic. Ethereal mold is another one that I have a very long conga of. Christmas horse which was named Noche Bueno. And then I have the original Ethereal set. So this is water. This little series was some of the best paint jobs that Briar did in a regular run. So that's wind, earth, fire. So this is a regular run, guys. This looks like a one of a kind raffle horse, but this was, you could buy this in the store. I remember seeing these in the store. The Wilder, which was a tractor supply company special run. This is a regular run, just a Grula Overo. Super nice too. Briarfest special run, spun gold surprise in buckskin blanket Appaloosa. Clearly I had to have this one. This checks all of my boxes. <laughs> I'm not a decorator person, but this color is so loud. It's my favorite shade of teal and my favorite shade of red. So the model name was Anthem. Got a few drafters here. Briarfest Benelli. They did a really superb job of him. The regular gray Shire. Briarfest special run Zahala, I think his name was and the Christmas Horse Woodland Splendor. I've also got quite a flash conga. Little Texas, Starlight from the Saddle Club, Briarfest Stone Lay Surprise in Bay Tobiano, the Fun With Model Horses Collecting in Gray, Briarfest Volunteer Model Ben Nevis, Nevis. And this is the liver chestnut variation. That was my first Briarfest I got to do work for, so he's a really special horse. This is the original Flash Tractor Supply Company rider list, but a really lovely shaded done. And this is Chardonnay. Another old mold I really admire is the San Domingo mold. An old Cheeto horse <laughs> that I'm gonna customize. This one was from the Let's Go Riding set. ELCR benefit model, which was a special run that they released where the proceeds went to land conservation. And that was the liver chestnut variation. And I also have the Palomino variation from the same promotion. Sport, the Bonanza series, vintage club Rowan. And I love this horse. And this particular model was a chestnut that was released in the 2000s when I started collecting. And I remember seeing him and always wanting him. So I'm very happy to have him. Black Beauty, let's go riding playset. And this guy, Collector's Club, and his name was Nanoma. Came in a couple different variations with war paint on him. Stock horses over here on the Cody mold. Let's go riding playset. It's Bonanza coach eyes. It's like a giant playset that you bought and this was the horse that came with it. Another Bonanza horse. Really nice little Appaloosa. It's one of Briar's best paint jobs, I think. A really intense Sabino. This is Salpitica, Salpicata. I don't know how you say it. And then I've got this Lady Phase who they did a really good job on her. I'm not a Lady Face fan though. My Adios Conga. This is the old style vintage, kind of splattery way that they used to paint. This guy, I don't remember what he is, but he's some form of special run. But I really liked the old style Appaloosa patterning that they did on him. Merit, Buttermilk. It's a really nice line back done. Champagne mm. Toast who was executed amazing. He's Briarfest special run. Poker Joe, JC Penny special run in Dunn, so he's lying backed as well. I've got a handful of the Marwari mold here. Nazardin celebration horse, the regular Marwari. Collector Club, Raja, Hot Couture, Briarfest special run. He's really cool. And he has the regular horse ears instead of the curly ears. And this is Briarfest 
special run to Seely. Then I've got a couple Big Ben Nautical, who's an older special run. He's very, very yellowy. Double Exposure, who's a lovely Grilla color. He comes in glossy. RCMP portrait model from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. He's got Canadian flag on his bum there. Briarfest Once Upon a Time and Milton. Two Andalusian mares, Premier Club, Hermosa. She's a really well done black and white. Briarfest Special Run, Mamacita. Zippo Pine Bar, Store Special, Zipped in Black Magic. They did a really superb job on him. Another favorite is Impress Me Shannon, Rugged Painted Lore. Picture Perfect Quarter Horse. This was a set that was in the 2000s at some point where they released a model and it came with a disposable camera and a guide on how to photograph your horse. So he's kind of cool. Zips Chocolate Chip, Little Ricky Rocker, and Fleet Street Max. This is my Giselle Conga, J-A-H Limited Edition, Malang. The Original Heartbreaker, Briarfest, Stage Mom, Web Special, Hera from the Briar Goddesses series. And they did a really great job of her roaning and the shadings in her black. Slate Surprise in Leopard Appaloosa. A trio of the Cannery Warblood, Ichabod Crane, Story Special, and Denisha's Northern Temptist or Danny, probably one of the best oppies they've done. I don't remember what this guy's name is, but he's a nice Palomino Appaloosa. A trio on the Troubadour Mold, Briarfest Special Run Ansel, and the Christmas Horse Snowbird, and Morgan Quest. Native Sun, as well as Bluegrass Bandit. Color is probably one of Briar's best dapple grays. Trio of Sal and Arrow. This is Briar Fest Ray's Ling Special Run. He's a really like basic chestnut, but a really well done chestnut. Collector Choice Cloud Nine. And then I have a singular sham, which is the Black Stallion. This is Briar Fest Bonifet. Tractor Supply Company Special Run Travis and Cortez C. Then I have a decent conga of the Iticus Iticus mold. This is Ravel, Special Run Wapiti, Snowman, Friarfest Buttercream, who's a really light dun, Brunello, Friarfest Chablis, and Iticus or Iticus. Christmas horse, Dominante. And then I have a couple of the Proud Arabian Mare because it's another vintage mold I really admire. So this is Karma, a JH special run from 1993, and it is Steel Dust. And then this is my favorite, Bennett Irai. She's a tour model from, I believe, the year 2000. She's a really cool shaded dun. And then I just have a Bay, limited edition Caranosa who is another really nice chestnut. She is number 8,838 out of 10,000. And then I have some Smarty Jones models. Wind Talker here. He has one brown eye and one blue eye. The 70th anniversary surprise model. Briarfest special run, Rushmore. This is the original Smarty Jones, which is when the mold was released. This is the first horse that Came with it and one of the nicest chestnuts. Secretariat and Tractor Supply Company Special Run who has a blank V bum. Brio of Ruffians up here. Rachel Alexandra. Puku Mid State Special Run and Rags to Riches. Show Jumping Warm Blood. Mon Gammon who is really lovely. Christmas Horse Jewel who I won from a Briar drawing contest back in the day. This Briar says special run Wish Upon a Star in matte. He's a really pretty blanket Appaloosa. Ideal. This guy, I'm unsure of exactly who he is. <laughs> he has remarkable shading. Briar Fez Rocket Winks. Tractor Supply Company Eclipse. I also really love Silver, Tractor Supply Company, don't remember his name, Matrix. I got him at the same time I got Shabaya. Web Special Reboot of Black Beauty. I have Hidalgo. This one is one of my favorites ever. This is Hobo. He is a lovely buckskin dun. 
but he has a little heart on his butt. Treasure Hunt in Sabino. And Blue Suede Shoes, who is also a really lovely model. Rhinish Draft from Briarfest Theo. And Honey Bear, a web special. Two Cleveland Bay models here. Oliver from Briarfest. And this was... O'Leary's Irish Diamond, Aurelis, Tractor Supply Company Jasper, Picasso, and this is Briar Fez, Thorny Croft, Volunteer Model. Three of the Bollywood Surprise Models, so this one in Dunn, in Bay Tobiano and Chestnut Overo, Briar Fez Special Run Platinum Star, and Harley D. Zip. These guys are really lovely. I love this Dunn one. He's a really soft, buttermilky buckskin and I love the Overa one as well. He has really nice uh, shading flecking through his body. Then I've got a couple of little babies here. This is Boone. He's a little miniature horse in buckskin. Adele from the Premier Club. This is the Mare in Full set from Briarfest. The regular run Welsh set. This little guy is like a classic baby but I love his little spots. Briarfest. Celebration Horse, Joker, Collector Club Special, Gideon, Collector Choice, Sierra Blanco, Mark Chicolina, Shining and Sassy, Garrett, Vallegro here, Collector Club for Limited Edition, don't remember his name, <laughs> Enchanted, Briarfest Special Run, Total Ass, and Adia HP. I have a few Lonesome Glories here, Wapasha, who has a bunch of war paint markings on him. Love, love, love this guy. This was the Briarfest 2015. I don't remember what the surprise horse was called, but it was the surprise horse. And this is another variation of that same model, but in a chestnut overo. Then I've got two banners, Tractor Supply Company Samson and the original Gypsy Banner. I don't remember his name, but he's like a buckskin paint. I don't remember this one's name either, <laughs> or this one's name, uh, this is Ashquar, I guess, was his name, and this is the Premier Club original release of the sculpture, and this is one of the best chestnuts I've seen, and this particular copy of this is so nice. All three of the Seven Arts Surprise, Pintalusa which Briar doesn't do very often. Store special, his name is Hal. The two other seven art surprises. This one was the one that I wanted the most. Chestnut Splash. Then I have a very decent American Saddlebred Conga here. I also really love this mold. He's so handsome. Harmony. This was a Christmas horse for one of the years. His name was Duke. J.C. Spenny Special Run is really lovely. Chabasco, the original black and white saddlebred when the mold was released. And a tractor supply company that I do not remember the name of. But the original is really fun. This is like classic Briar saddlebred. Bozeman, he's really pretty. I have a hole here. Poor lone soldier that needs a new base. <laughs> black tie affair. Marengo was his name. This is the J.C. Penny. Family Stallion, the original Huckleberry Bay, and this is the Treasure Hunt prize model from the Color Crazy Treasure Hunt. Briarfest Special Run Thorn, Pickstead Passport to Model Horse Collecting, the Warehouse Special in Chestnut is one of the best buckskins they've done too, so I really like him. I then have a couple new in-box briars that are for mostly customizing. So I have a new in-box Alberozo Illumination Nakoda that lives in my spare bathroom. I also have a few classics and stable mates that live over here on my windowsill. I won't go through them all, but here's an overview. I have this trio in my living room, which consists of Kylie Park's sculpted and painted Troubadour, Raven Maddock sculpted and painted Fireheart, and Lynn Fraley sculpted Battlefield Angel. And these are kind of the three influential artists in my life. So I really admire Kylie Parks' style and she's very inspiring to me. I'm very good friends with Raven and she's given me a ton of advice through the years as well. And both Raven and Lynn Fraley taught me in a sculpting workshop recently. So I had to have a piece of Lynn's as well. And this is her first briar sculpt too. So this trio in my living room to remind me of my roots. 
I also have this decorator Destato that lives in my plant window over there. Alba Rosa lives in my living room too. And I've got a couple in the TV stand as well. So this is Briarfest Special Run Ringmaster and Lady Liberty. And then the original Spirit and Rain, Brady and Tennessee Titan, Hickory something or other. <laughs> and Briarfest Special Run Oliver. I also have a handful of models here in my spare room and these are just like carpet herd horses and basically ones that didn't fit on the shelf downstairs. So I've got the porcelain one too and a old rearing stallion and semi rearing stallion. I've even got a couple <laughs> scattered through my master bedroom. And then, of course, all of the custom models. More custom models. And a couple more. Some of these will forever remain with me, while others are for sale. And these two are two of my favorite briar molds that I have just repainted with no customization. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this collection tour. I've enjoyed sharing it all with you. And this is the first tour in the new studio setup, so that's also very exciting. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and happy collecting yourself. Don't put yourself at the standard. You do not need this many models. Uh, this is a long time. Long time coming. Mm -hmm.